Hey everybody, it's me, Lisa Transcendent Brown, and uh, I'm going to try to record a couple videos today um, along the way. Um, anyway, I want to say aloha uh, to everyone, and I hope that your day is magnificent and that things are magical for you there, where you are, wherever part of the world it is. I am, there's so much going on um, energetically. And with the light activations, um, with the expansiveness and contraction of the multiple dimensions that we um, exist in now, um, for me, I walk in these and I um, write my own experiences. A lot of people are still going to the etheric realm or the space in between or to the dream state or whatever you want to call it in order to access this information. Um, I don't do that. And I embody uh, absolutely everything that I uh, speak um, to you and that I share on Facebook and some of the other places as well. Um, embodiment means that we are able to hit a frequency and we're able to hold it inside long enough for it to be ours. And it brings forth ancient knowledge and information and wisdom that was... Um, encoded in our DNA, our crystalline, our new, our star being, our uh, original template, um, whichever word you would like to use to me, they're all the same thing, different versions, you will find that I will pull words together and to explain that they're all the same thing. Uh, we came here, uh, we separated everything into a human existence, human mentality, human belief system, human everything, and to turn around and have to let it all go. Um, most are having a really hard time with this. It is part of the process um, that we all um, come to have to experience here when it's our time to awaken, when it's our time uh, to see more, when it's our time for our veils uh, to be lifted and for us to remember um, our pure essence, our self as source, um, when it's time to remember our existence beyond this one. And it will be um, many existences. It will not be just one. There, uh, along the way, we only have the ability to see as expanded as we are at any given time. Um, as we embrace the higher light frequencies that are coming in, uh, those of us who have been doing this for a very long time, um, and time is human perception as well, and so... Uh, time is uh, all of our existence across all times. Uh, for many of us, it's not just this one here. Um, when I look at things, I see the ancient uh, energies um, that are clearing from us uh, individually and collectively. Um, the process that we go through for ascension is uh, one that is a very surprising one. We do not, ex we cannot comprehend. Um, how all of this goes until we actually experience it here in the physical. Uh, for me, part of my journey, part of my job, part of my mission, same word, different version, um, was to share it along the way as I went through mine. Um, I had many, um, most of the time, the last few years, uh, and I speak in human time only for perception um, purposes because we do not exist in time, therefore years, they don't matter to us, we couldn't care less. Uh, moments don't matter. Uh, <laughs> we obliterated those a very long time ago. And when we come to embody our higher self here, um, time doesn't exist. Past, future, um, not. Mm, the most that uh, we separate off in here is into uh, multiple parallels, mul multiple uh, realities, and the um, ability to choose. Um, then we just put them right back together again and create an entirely alternate reality to exist in um, that is beyond here. Now the cool part is that we get to transcend uh, the limiting human one and we get to um, physically walk in multiple realities at one time. Hear the bird. Uh, we get to pull them all together in order to create a whole new reality. I'll, um, we unify uh, the heart and the mind, uh, unity consciousness, um, unified field, uh, whatever words you wish to use. 
Um, and there's so much about this journey and that it cannot be encapsulated in, in a video or even a course. I mean, it takes multiple, multiple, multiple uh, sharings and uh, inhuman time, hours and hours and hours and hours and to explain um, what really is transpiring. And so we do it in bits and pieces. And we allow uh, those who are seeking to find uh, what they need to find when they need to find it. And we transmit in light. We transmit um, light encodements. Um, it doesn't matter what words come out of us. Um, you will receive it in frequency and directly from our soul to yours. And it will activate you um, to, to remember uh, something. It will activate your DNA. Um, it does a lot of things. It, for a lot of people, it puts them to sleep because it uh, carries a vibration that is higher uh, than their human aspect is. Mm. So, that's not why I started out talking, but apparently that's what's coming out. Uh, Y'all know me. Uh, I talk about whatever. And I wander off in my crop circle here. And we do the spiral thingy, and we come back around again. And we will cover exactly what needs to be covered. And then we're done. Alright, um, next topic. I guess we're going to do this. I'm going to jump around, hop around, which is what we like to do. Um... There goes a little motor bite of some kind. All right, um, human aspects and dimensional versions, multiple versions of the same. Um, mm, okay, let's see. How do I say this? Um, examples. I like to use those. They're easier. They help. Um, one thing is that um, I have had the awesome experience of being able to observe the multiple dimensions and when they become present and when they uh, go, when we expand and when we contract, which is available and which is not at any given time. And one of my uh, gifts, if you will, um, is uh, to be able to hear uh, all of the frequencies as they um, activate uh, the different realms. Um, there are markers for each reality that tell us which is present. I, I know which frequency means which. I know the sound of it. I know the um, feel of it. I can see them as well. So it's like a um, combination of bringing many things together um, so that you have the entire picture all at once. Um, individuals um, have multiple aspects of them and we get whichever one that we are operating at at that time or what is available um, depending on the vibrational frequencies at, 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 in that moment now the more um, you embody here the more frequencies you embody the more dimensions you hold inside which means that when we contract we no longer go back to human as we once knew it we just contract we are aware that we don't have as many realms to walk between. Um, when they contract really, really, when they condense in, um, we really only have one to walk in. But we're aware that they're all still present and that we still can choose and activate a reality. It's just a bit more trying there. Um, because things are not as easy, that the um, flow um, that has been created slows down our energy fields, slow. Um, there is some work that we have to do, which is a lot of times going to sleep. If the photonic light activations kick in, they shut us down, they put us to sleep, and we are building in light. And then when they um, have finished, if you will, because they never finish, but uh, for that moment... Um, then we, as we upgrade, as we integrate and we wake up and our particles are moving again and um, very, very fast, we are quickening very, very fast, things are instant here and what we have available to us is, is exquisite now as a human. Um, it depends on the space we occupy, sometimes it is very sacred, sometimes it is very fun. Uh, the part of this journey that I did not um, comprehend was at first my journey was I started out human, and kind of, not really. I walked in mm, to this existence and um, didn't know that for a very long time, didn't understand what that meant. Um, but 
Mm, not really important at this point. Um, but then I entered human, and I was very human, very, very, very human, as human as one could get. I was one of those that chose all of the experiences to endure, to turn around and let them go, so that I could help everybody else or assist everybody else who also come had come to experience those things as well and was trying to transcend such things in their own human reality. And they do not exist uh, once we transcend them. Uh, they're not even a memory anymore. You don't have the visual. There's no energy. Um, you have an awareness, and that is it. It's just an old illusion. Uh, there's no play. There's no story. There's nothing. We don't care. And we let it go. Um, and then... Mm, I don't remember time, so five, six years ago, seven, three, don't know, it's been a while, um, as you can tell, um, I woke up slowly, mm, had to go through my own journey of bringing it all up, going inside, digging it all up, and suffering through it, um, losing everything as it was perceived to be, um, to point me inward, to make me, I was one of those that had to be made, um, to make me see. Um, and then there comes a point where we um, no longer need to be made and we start embracing the journey and we start making it a priority and um, everything changes when we do that things start to flow things get easier and um, everything is a bit um, a lot different than a um, lot different than uh, you'll find words don't really matter much anymore so we don't do well with those lately uh, as well um, then um, I started to activate all of these frequencies, not knowing what was going on. Um, and started to learn about versions, dimensions. Um, started tapping in uh, to all of these things, this knowledge that I did not have as a human. It uh, was not even within my realm of comprehension. Um, our knowledge goes so far beyond here. It's not something we learn in a book. It's not something we read. It's something that comes from inside of us, and we just understand. And then the words come, and we explain it. It's after the fact. Human wants to know first. So we just do it, and then we share. Um, sharing a the most important part of this journey, um, which is why we do what we do. Um, it, it, it was a, let's see, what's the word do I use? safety mechanism that we built in place. We don't get more information until we share what we've got. So you will see, I share a lot. Because the more I share, the more I get, the more I have to share. So I spend all day, every day sharing in some way, shape, or form. Um, I did not realize uh, how, um, how any of this was going to occur. Um, the actual anchoring of realities in the physical, of the higher realms, the actual walking in them, and um, the illusion, the lucidity uh, of it all, the psychedelic experiences that occur, uh, the um, materialization of things here uh, that we only dreamed of, the walking through portals, the activating portals, the expanding portals. That's a huge one. That's a lot of fun. And recently I have been um, playing with... Uh, uh, a lot. Um, the um, I was shown a portal that I was on the other side of about a year and a half ago, and how uh, a month or so ago, how I was sitting on the other side of it, but my mind was slow, and it took a year and a half to catch up that I had teleported uh, from one side of the portal to the other, and my mind and my physical body took a year and a half. Now it's happening faster and faster, and so I have been activating portals to assist uh, with the anchoring in of multiple realms here. Uh, one of my favorites is the uh, mirror people, the mermaids. Um, the word aquatic just came through. That's not what I use. So apparently that has something to do with whatever I'm doing as well. Um, everything, you name it, if it has to do with this, it, it is a, a, a comes from inside. And it's a fun place to be. It's a very sacred place to be. And it's a beautiful place to be. Um, there are many things occurring that I did not expect. Um, my favorite words, some of them, because I have many, is to expect the unexpected. Um, expect, um, embrace crazy. That's another one I love. Um, you have to do that. You, your sanity goes out the window when you come to walk in the higher realms. Um, we question it, but we know better because we hold it inside. We live from our heart. 
and we do not um, entertain the, the human aspect anymore uh, we don't need it um, we let it go very quickly everything is uh, beyond this existence now and it is very ancient and we just bring it up merge the masculine and the feminine mask any polar opposites mask any um, whatever's um, from other uh, lineages and other times and other um, whatever beyond here it's been uh, Lemurian and Atlantean it's been um, Lucifer and um, Prime Creator and there's been many things and um, that we have um, integrated and for the collective um, as we do and so we do many things most people cannot comprehend and it really doesn't matter we don't care it's why we're here and it assists everybody because we are the light grid we are the new hologram we are the transmitters the crystals inside the star particles inside of us it is amazing just to watch them it's pretty cool you can see these things um, it, anyway there's another video um, <laughs> we're 12 alright so and did I accomplish anything in this video I have no idea but regardless of that um, we have the capability to do absolutely anything we desire. Um, you have to unify. You have to let go of the separation inside. You have to um, choose this and you have to um, do something in the physical. And that's the part that a lot of people miss is the doing part. They think they can just sit there and wait and wait and wait. And, and we can. Um, but we have to up our frequency and we wait. But we do in the physical what we're shown in order to activate that reality, in order to show our universe that we're ready. And there are a lot of things we have to do in order to um, create a unified field spin so huge and that um, we spin really, really fast and um, the rest of the world goes really slow. Um, our perception of time is really, really off because it doesn't technically exist. And we don't sleep the way we used to. We don't do anything the way we used to. We let go of the whole human aspect of this and we do it the way we're shown and the way we feel inside. We eat um, the way we want to and it does not conform to what others believe. Um, we do everything the way we want to. And that's kind of the awesome part of this journey is we're not limited anymore and we span across all time. Um, we occupy a space and that's about it. And we move and we hop and we um, slide quantum style. So yes, um, right now I am not very expensive believe it or not um, it is a very human-ish feeling kind of day the energies are all over the place they've been back and forth um, but the thing about it is is my amount of light that I hold is no longer indicative of the uh, realms that are open and available at that time I embody them so I can still move uh, from realm to realm from space to space um, I am aware of what is available in the physical and, and uh, what to do uh, beyond that when they expand and everything comes in things get really awesome and we get excited and, and we're ready to go again because we are home on our playing field spanned across multiple dimensions at one time and we are walking in them and we are playing and having a lot of fun and um, it is magical it is interactive and new earth as others perceive it to be, is not a long off distance place. It's right here. You gotta see. You gotta open up. You gotta believe. You've got to let go of all of your old perceptions of what things are. You have to look. You have to go connect with the trees, with the universe. You have to be in nature. You have to walk. Get out of the car. Um, you have to do a lot of things. You have to observe. Let go of judgment. You have to be present in every moment. You have to listen. Um, and uh, find the metaphors. There are so many things. You program this reality. You have to come to understand your own programming. And when you can, it becomes awesome, magic, cool, fun. So, all right, I'll finish up with this one. I'll come back and maybe I'll accomplish something in the next one as well. Um, I do want to talk about um, the existences of multiple um, dimensional versions of others um, because I have been experiencing how um, I can listen to the frequencies and, and see the expansion of a certain dimension available or not or if all of them are available and when it's nothing but heart wide open energy um, and when that is certain people come around and, and when it's not they don't I have been shown 
that I am not to see the lower version of anyone anymore. Um, there are days that I am kept indoors to work. Um, I connect with a higher version online when I do my sessions. Um, the other days I am out and about or um, others come to me and when they come I get their open-hearted version as well. I don't call people. I don't do anything that does not come. Um, things are delivered in frequency. All we have to do is wait. We have to activate it. We have to hold it. And we have to say no to the old programming, the old frequencies of the old limiting human um, perceptions and perspectives um, in, in our world. And we say no. And not anymore. I don't need it. And we let it go. So, right now, I am going to go get out and go about because it has been a very long day. And my time, it's only 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and I've been going since sunup. And I will come back and continue to go until the photonic light activation shut me down. Because I upgrade first, and then I come to do whatever I need, and then things come forth. So, I will wish you an absolutely magnificent and magical day. Um, embrace everything, and throw out the old ways, and make it a priority. And remember, you don't lack. There's no need to suffer. There is absolutely no reason to do it the old way anymore. You do have to choose. And for those who do, you know where we are. And beyond that, enjoy your journey. It will occur exactly as you choose it to on your end there. And I love you. Mahalo. And I will talk to you very soon.